turn, play one more turn of the great strategy games, and today we hover over the Eastern Front once more, and this is an exciting episode as we get to move 3rd Panzer Group, 2nd Panzer Group, as we steamroll Soviet units back to their capital of Moscow, and hopefully we can do that before Thursday when we have a brand new War in the East 2 dropping. And on Thursday, we will be streaming War in the East 2. I will just be playing the game right from the start. Uh, I will make a basic tutorial, uh, but that will have to come after we get into the gameplay and stream it and, uh, you know, go over it, see what's happening, but actually play the game itself. So what are we doing right now? Well, let's back up. Uh, if you remember last time... We had gotten ourselves in pretty good position here in the north, I think. We've pushed uh, 4th Panzer right to the gates of Leningrad. We've got some soft units over here. We're going to eventually scoot these guys over here to the east and try to mess up some of those soft units and scatter them and then come up here and maybe take uh, the most obvious place that the Soviets would get supplies across the lake, Lake Ladoga. We've also got... 18th Army, 18th Army uh, has pushed, uh, there's a thin line of defense, we've routed a lot of units here part of 18th is down here, they will, you know make the other side of the vice here and we'll squeeze those Soviet units hopefully, maybe even get around them, I'd like to get around them so they don't just retreat back into all of this mess that we see around Leningrad. We're going to have to fight our way through. Uh, 16th Army did start to move north. Uh, so 16th Army had kind of been coming northeast, made contact with the Soviets here, but now they have turned to the north. They'll go take Novgorod and then participate in the assault on Leningrad. And so as we get down here in the center where do things stand? Well, we have moved part of Ninth Army. I say we've moved part of Ninth Army. We've moved almost all of Ninth Army here. Uh, we've moved some of Fourth Army. And we moved Fourth Army up here to make kind of the other side of our corridor. So whenever you play this game, you got to make these corridors for your mobile groups, your motorized, uh, your panzers, your motorized divisions. Um, they are going to be out in front generally. But you've got to make sure the Soviets can't close the door behind them. And so we're stringing our infantry out here a little bit to make sure the Soviets can't launch a counterattack and mess with our supply and fuel situation. So we've started to move them. As you see, we are on the doorstep of Smolensk. Uh, Smolensk, usually very difficult to take, but because of the way this game has played out, the Soviets have been in constant retreat, which, I mean, of course, is normal right at the start. But now, even into turn 7 and 8, they co they are constantly in retreat, meaning they have left the field at Vitebsk. It looks like they've pretty much uh, completely pulled out of Smolensk. Those are good things. Uh, usually, you spend a lot of men and material trying to take some of these cities, and it can really slow you down. Uh, this game, that has not happened. We've threatened envelopment after envelopment, and the Soviets continue to retreat. We're almost to the point here where they will retreat no more. Uh, you know, even the AI knows, don't go past Moscow, really. Uh, Joe Stalin's sitting here with his special forces ready to shoot you in the back if you don't move forward. Uh, and so we're about to the time where they will not be heading any further east. Uh, yes, Evil Six, I am back again. we got to get these War in the East episodes in. This game's been going so well. I feel like we've learned a lot. Uh, hopefully you've learned a lot. Hell, I've learned a lot uh, just through all the comments and whatnot, even though I've played this game a few times, <laughs> a few times to say the least. Uh, so welcome, everybody. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, this should be a good one because, you know, we get to figure out what we're going to do with these panzers. It's a huge decision. Uh, you know, after turns one and two, you're moving east as fast as you can. But now we're getting to decision time. Uh, what do we do with third panzer? What do we do with second panzer? How are we going to approach Moscow? Uh, 
it looks like the way things are playing out is we're going to approach Moscow from the north and try to encircle it this way and let our infantry come here from kind of the southwest and provide the other side of this uh, this fence that we hold hope to build around Moscow to choke Moscow off. Um, it's probably the best way to go. I mean, I guess I've done it both ways where, you know, the Panzers came in from the south. The game just played out that way and we busted through here and came to the south of Moscow. Uh, as it is, though, you don't want to go directly into Moscow. You've got um, a river here that's kind of difficult to attack across. You've got some light woods and whatnot. It's usually better to either go up here into some of these clear hexes uh, and try to get it maybe across this river and around it or to come from here. And I know a lot of people do come from the southwest uh, through Kaluga because you've got, you know, clear hexes here. You don't have to attack across the river once you get across down here, uh, just north of Tula. You know, they both have their benefits. It kind of just depends on what the Soviets are doing. You know, uh, you react. Just keep probing that front to see where the weakness is it, weaknesses are and then pour through uh with your armor so okay uh fourth army do we want to do anything else can we do anything else is maybe the more pertinent question now we did get our ss unit here linked back up with infantry and so now it's back in command back in supply uh those are good things let's hit shift z so we can see who is commanding you there we go uh, these would be its compatriot units, um, in this core. What is this? The 46th Panzer Corps under Von Vettenhoff. He's a 6.6. .6. That ain't bad. We'll take that for sure. Uh, we've got Guderian up here in overall command of this entire second Panzer group. Uh, but maybe we move, do we move the third first or the second first? Well, here's the decision that has to be made here. We can move third and either try to really go straight here and then move second and link up and re-envelop these forces. Or we can have third move a little further to the north up and around. Now, the problem down here, whoops, that's not where I wanted that how I wanted it to zoom. The problem is here, we do have a, a small river, all right? We've got a larger river right there. We've got an impassable hex. We have woods. Uh, you see here, we have rough terrain. I mean, this is not the best place for panzers to be steaming through. There's a lot of rough terrain, you know, like I said, impassable. We've got a lake, we've got rivers. Uh, so what's really the best way to go? I think it's to drive, you know, straightforward here. I don't want to get in any more scraps. I would imagine this triple stack here has some good defense um, numbers. You know, these guys are probably have some strength. I don't know. You see, we get into this soft underbelly here. We've got routed units, airfields. You know, that's not a whole lot to worry about, but maybe we can kind of clean that up with the Panzer. So if we can drive straight east here, avoid these units. Uh, we'll fence them off with maybe our motorized. Uh, I don't think there's nothing left in ninth that has any movement points i don't think um but i do want to make sure nope we do have one unit now that's why i'm glad i looked <laughs> so we do have one unit of ninth here that can move forward and start to provide that defense now it's sitting directly in veliki luki right now we don't want to leave that open for them to come take but i don't think that's going to be a huge issue they've got swamp they would have to cross a river here go through a swamp go to another hex to get down to veliki luki so i think we can go ahead and move this well that's got four left can this move forward at all i think it can huh now that's interesting maybe we leave that in town and we move this one forward i think that's what we'll do uh, can we go all the way here? We can. All right. That gets kind of our uh, every other hex rule. Uh, and we can do a hasty attack here. Now, we haven't, I don't believe we've moved the headquarters or have we? Yep, we've moved both those headquarters. So we're not going to get um, 
support units no matter what we do. Now the temptation would be to attack here. These units have just been mauled and we almost had them enveloped. So it looks like they're a little low on supply, uh, but let's uh, do a hasty this way. Try to knock this back and then we can have the Panzers go, you know, scatter these units and try to get as close to here as we can. I'd like to get to this hex. Um, that would scatter these airfields. It would also give a direct run up here for second panzer. We get the envelopment, then we can move both second and third panzer group in a just a rolling force here that would go north of Moscow. That will be the plan. Yes, Stanley, I'm back in the east. I have flown across in a hypersonic jet that did not exist in 1941 from uh, Pearl Harbor all the way out here to Veliki Luki. Uh, you wouldn't even think they would have an airport that big, but they did. Uh, I'm here. Hey, Sarmo! Sarmo says it's probably better to do some recon missions. Sarmo, I don't know if you are being uh, serious or facetious here, but you know, if you've been watching, that I will never turn down a chance to do recon missions. And so let's get the recon out here and see what we see. Uh, okay, there's some more units there that just popped up. Uh, we'll run, a, run a, right over the airfield. How bold is that? Come and get us. They've only got two fighters they could send this way. As you can see, they made this huge line up the rail here. So they railed all of these troops out, I guess up to, you know, kind of Vishni Volacek. We are going to have to watch that, though, with the Ninth Army and make sure we've got a kind of a strong fence here that they can't come back and counterattack because they were just in full fleet, you know, they were in full retreat here, but they'll probably stop out here and say, whew, okay, we didn't get encircled. Now let's go back and try to, you know, go after the Germans the best we can uh, to try to break up. I mean, once we have second and third Panzer group together, that's a really strong force. Now we are gonna have to try to avoid going over the Volga with attacks, so we'll probably bring them the, here, we'll link up here, and then we'll move south of Rezhev, actually, uh, and then maybe up this way, or you could come here and try to go up this way, but it's probably gonna get thick as thieves right down in here. Uh, hey, while we're at it, let's run some more recon. Um, do we have anything more down here? I don't think we do. And let's uh, go over these units again, just to make sure, just to make sure. I'm glad I've got this hasty attack left. I didn't want to use up any of the movement points from these motorized. I'd rather, you know, hit them with the infantry, hopefully knock them back. I don't know if, I don't know if we'll get them to route. That would be ideal if they go flying. Now, see, as we do this, we're seeing more and more show up now. Um... All right, I think that's probably good enough. I am going to look in this hex right, right here just to make sure. Uh, but no, nothing there. Okay, uh, great. Let's use this. Whoops, got to get to movement mode. Uh, let's use this infantry unit to try to blow them away. I mean, they only had a 16 here. They did route. That's excellent. Okay, that is helpful. Um, all right, so we've got... Ninth Army in Vileki Luki. We've got Ninth Army here. I could even scoot this unit up, maybe one, and, and attack there if I really wanted to get bold. He would have three left. They can't really, well, I guess maybe they could try to get through there. Yeah, I'm not going to take that risk. Okay. Uh, let's see. If I put him in the swamp, I don't really want him in the swamp, but it completely closes out. I've only got 15 movement points with this one motorized. It's the least uh, movement points I think we have with anything here, and it's the furthest back. Um, I think I will just go put him right there to completely close off the idea that they could counterattack there. I don't think they would have anyway, uh, but rather safe than sorry. Now we have another motorized that's got 14. Let's move it up. Uh, as much as we can. Now we will capture some fuel, some supply out here as we scatter things. Uh, that's a feature of the game. If there's routed units, there's air bases, there's headquarters that you scatter to the wind, they leave behind their fuel dumps. So uh, you can pick those and your, their supply dumps. So you can get those. Now we could do 
a quick hasty here. Um, this is Schmidt. He's going to need some support anyway. Let's put some support in there. Eh, we don't have a ton, uh, but let's put a little in and s just to make him a little more. Oh, I think I'm going to put these uh, Stugs and, and Jaeger bombs in directly with my Panzers. Uh, now this you may look at and say, well, you'd normally you wouldn't do that attack. And that is true. I guess I could move him north, couldn't I? I was going to do this hoping that I just got a probing mission or that they're actually not as strong as they're representing. But I think instead I'm going to use him to continue to build this kind of northern line. Let's move him there. He captures more. He scatters that. Off you go. Now this motorized unit is also part of his core. Hmm. Let's try another recon mission here. I'd like to know if this is actually a routed unit. I mean, you're, I'm not going to get that level of detection. Um, one second. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to get that level of detection. Uh, it's Who knows what we're dealing with right here. Uh, you know, we could keep flying those forever. I don't think we're going to get a detection level enough to know exactly what their combat value is or... or um, you know, whether they're soft units or hard. When I say soft units, I generally mean airfields, headquarters, routed units. Uh, when I say, you know, and I know normally soft would could also denote infantry. But when I'm saying it now, I, I really mean, you know, units you're not going to have to stand and fight. Um, rolling, th yeah, Operation Rolling Thunder, Evil Six. That's right. Yes, yeah, Stanley, Mrs. Dojo did make a cameo with the coffee. I'm still only about that way through it. I haven't gotten it all done. I got up a little late today. She was kind enough to place the order and go get it. That's what you need in, in a wife. She's the MVP. I could say that every day. Uh, keep a, send a recon unit over Moscow. Hey, you know what? If we can, let's do it. Let's just let's see if we can get a recon out here. Hey, we did. Uh, we did lose one of our recon planes, but that's all right. Uh, we're not picking up a whole lot back here. I think they're really in scramble mode at this point. We've got them in a lot of trouble uh, because most the, the vast majority of their forces that would fall back to Moscow are falling back to Vishny Volochek. Now the problem is they could always rail them down to Moscow, and you know the quicker we can get here and cut this rail line, the better the better, uh, which also may make us think about what we do with 2nd Panzer here. The faster we can get, well, we wouldn't go all the way north here, but the faster we can get to this rail line, the better, because these units are probably just going to rail right back around, um, which is too bad. We didn't have a real opportunity to encircle them here. We did everything we could. Uh, they're just, it, you know, we didn't have enough movement points when it ultimately comes down to it, and oftentimes you won't. Okay, let's get back to move mode. Let's see. So I've got Panzer Division with 16. I've got a Panzer Division here with 17. 38, that's nice, 25 and 21. So these are going to be the spearhead. So we'll move the ones that are further back first. Uh, and try to carve up a little bit more territory for them. I could also come up this way with some of these guys, and, hmm, do I want to do that, or do I want to go home here? I think, let's stick with our game plan. I think I want to come straight this way. Now, this is rough, I believe. Yeah, it is. So we're right now in light woods. We could do a hasty attack here. I'm going to wait on that. Uh, this guy could also come up here. Should he do that? Should he? Hmm. Now, if I... No, I can't get... I'd like to get him to this hex to carve into that hex. I'm not sure if I can get all the way there, even if I were to push him back here. Um, this is Von Noblesdorf. Let's also give him some support units, just 
in case we decide to do something with him. He has not moved, so we've still got <clears throat> the ability. Okay, mixed flak, flak, uh, sure, heavy flak, okay, motorized, all right. Oh, one thing, before we do that, though, let's go here and directly attach. Uh, we'll get this light flak out of here, and let's assign a stug and a Jaeger bomb. So they've got, uh, you know, those stugs are just motorized guns uh, and big ones. I mean, they're, if you ever play another game like, a, uh, what's the game I'm thinking? Oh, Order of Battle. If you've ever played Order of Battle, the most powerful unit in that game are these stugs. I just run them around everywhere and just trash things. I mean, these things just blow things wide open now they're not nearly as powerful in this game and they weren't historically they were good units don't get me wrong i mean it's just a big motorized gun moving around uh for the most part uh but yeah they're super powerful in that game now this is six of five ah crap so i guess that didn't really matter well shoot um i'm gonna how many he's got 278 tanks what's this made up of We've got, oh wow, we've got a lot of our Panzer IVs in here. The reason is, is I've got him on refit mode, so he's getting a lot of these Panzer IVs that are rolling off the production line. This is arguably the top unit we have in the game, 12th Panzer. Uh, not so sure I want to attack into a triple stack of infantry with him. All right, 7th Panzer is also in refit mode, and it's got, you know, it doesn't have as many as 12th Panzer, but 7th Panzer has a lot of the 4s as well. I mean, those are obviously, uh, if you're not familiar, I mean, the Panzer 4s are far and away the best German tank. It was like another leap forward. Uh, later on, they get the Tigers and the Leopards and all that stuff, but those were slower, bigger, lumbering. They were, in some respects, almost too big. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. I really don't know if I should do this, but I'm going to go ahead. All right, we got 10 damage, 3 destroyed. They held. We didn't get better than 1 to 1, but we put a hurting on them there. Now, they are in light, light woods and a town. Eh, I probably should have checked that beforehand, but no harm, no foul. I mean, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, I don't think we lost that much. Um, okay. Now we can take this unit, I guess. Let's go here first, and let's see. I don't think we can get into this because it's rough. And I would be correct about that. We could try to hit here, but since it's, I now know that's a town, uh, I don't think we'll do that. I think we'll drop him back one here. Okay, now this unit can get into rough, and it can get up here. Let's bring it directly east. Okay, we have another strong Soviet force here. They would, would they? Okay, is he, what's his, he's five of five, so he would get support units even with a hasty. We could also do a deliberate attack here with the idea we're going to bring these units that have a lot of movement points and try to wedge them right in here to get the encirclement. Um, all right, let's do that. Oh, shoot, I cannot actually do a deliberate. Well, that's okay. We attack with motorized. Uh, we just scouted him. We said, hey, no, nah, we're good. We're good. Uh, okay, so we lost 15 men. They lost over 100 just for a little probe attack. Let's hit them again and see. Maybe we got a bad dice roll. No, we scouted them again. So this is a substantial force here, and the general's basically telling us, uh, turn around. Stanley, I haven't been at Vilecki Luki for a long time. Uh, well, it is a good time. The nightclubs in Vilecki Luki, world famous. Uh, Evil Six. Yes, I love Order of Battle. Order of Battle is my favorite of those types of games. I like it better than Panzer General II. Uh, that's all personal preference, though. Um, but I, I, I really like Order, Order of Battle. We may play it on the channel here sometime uh, when they come out with a new pack or something. 
JAJ28, the proper way to bomb a city. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll be getting to that next turn. We'll be bombing Leningrad, but you don't bomb the or at least I don't, bomb the city itself. You don't really care about the production, the manpower, any of that stuff. I bomb the units. I bomb the units. I try to soften up the units as much as I can. Uh, now, we've learned over the course of this, you are limited to bombing over a hex to two per turn. Uh, but we will, as we get into this bombing campaign, we will hit every unit, and you are going to lose a ton of bombers. But that's okay, because ultimately you don't really have a better use for them. The best use for them in this entire game is to bomb the crap out of these units in front of Leningrad to soften them up for your infantry. Um, and so, yeah, we'll start that next turn. A strategic bombing campaign. Now, in retrospect, I think I wish I would have waited to move this unit until this cleared out, and then we could have moved it forward to here, but I'm not going to cry over spilled milk. Um, okay, we're going to bring him here. Man, I don't know if we're going to make it, guys. I don't know if we're going to make it to where we can do this envelopment. We do not have a lot of movement points here. Luckily, we've got a lot of softness right here, I think, for the Soviets. We'll see what this unit is. That's a one of two. That's what I like to see. Uh, we needed that. Okay, so let's blow him back or out or round or route. Yes, route, route. All right, let's see if we can move this unit forward. And no, this unit's going to pose a problem. We need to get him out of here. Um... Well, let's attack. Ah, we didn't get better than two to one. I really want to get to this rail line so they can't get anything else out along the rail line. That's ultimately what I'm trying to do. Um, can he attack again? Does not look like it. We're almost out of movement. Now, he can come here. This Panzer Division can come here and let's hope blow the snot out of these guys and get on this rail line. Yes, we have success. Uh, okay, this will keep them from railing. This will keep them... He can't move forward. Hold on. All right. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, if I get this close, well, we'll definitely bring the Panzers right through here the second. He should at least step back, the very least. Now, come on. Give me this. I think I need six, though. Didn't quite get there. This is the portion of the program where we remember it as PG-13 here. Um, well, I'll be damned. We need to get on this rail line, so we're going to have to use 2nd Panzer for that. Now, I know the temptation is to go directly to Moscow, but this will also help our fuel situation. And I think we'll get to Moscow in the same amount of time, whether we back up and go this way or we just try to go straight here. Because if we go try to go straight here, we're going to keep being really low on fuel where we've got things like 10 movement points. Um, hmm. All right. Uh, this is going to be... Attack! What's going on? Everyone has one. What's your all-time favorite war strategy game? Well, this, I would, War in the East, I would consider 1B. Is that a hedge? No, it's actually probably number two. Number one is War in the Pacific. Uh, there is nothing that matches that in my mind, but I know that's a flavor that's not for everyone, where you play every single day of the entire War of the Pacific and have control over every pilot, every every squadron in the whole Pacific War. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. I mean, even if it is your cup of tea, a lot of people just don't have time to play that a game of that depth, you know. Uh, but that would be my all-time favorite for sure. I, I, I love the Grigsby games. I'll have War in the West, the first part of that tutorial, up today tonight probably uh it's done i just want to go back and make sure i got everything in there i want um 
Wish we had more movement points, gents. I will tell you that. Now, okay, he can't really do much. All right, let's make sure we've got our cores lined up here. What do we have here? We've got the 47th Panzer. This unit has essentially like no movement points. Um, he's got five. That's not going to do us a whole lot of good. He may have to move. Well, we've got infantry there. Okay, we've got infantry all along here. Can How far up here can he get? We maybe just will take him here, here. All right, we'll move him first because there's not a huge decision to make with him. I don't think I'm going to be able to link up here, and that's just driving me nuts. Uh, I'm just, just looking at the movement point situation. It's, this, this unit is the only division that has a chance to get there. Um, all right, let's bring him up there because that's just kind of a unit that can't get anywhere, really. Let's see how far we can move the cavalry unit. Not far enough for my liking. Uh, yeah, he can't really do anything, so we'll just... I mean, we could just kind of leave him alone, to be honest, but I'll put him where this other unit that's going to move uh, is... Now then, we've got this one with eight movement points. Where can he go? Well, not far. We're just going to bring him up here, too. Oh, this is killing me. We're so close to this just total encirclement. But I'm just going to get him in a position for next turn to either go up this way or more likely come down this way. Um, 11. Okay, so he can get up into here. Unfortunately, he can't do an attack when he does, but let's hope that that gives us enough control. I don't, if I had two movement points here, I don't think I can attack this unit, and that's one of the problem units. But I do think I have enough to attack there and hopefully drive them back so I can drive this Panzer Division straight through here. Let's see if we can do that. Gosh, that would that would set off a celebration in OKH if we can get there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. He just can't quite get there. But uh, we are rubbing up next to the rail. Um, I think that will break the rail. Break it. I don't think they can move out of there now. Because you can't use rail when there's an enemy force right next to it. And now we've got two hex deep here. We've got zone of control with two panzer division. I was also hoping maybe that move would allow him to move up, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, but I think we're okay. I think that's okay. As much as I said I wanted to break this rail, we kind of did break it. We're right next to it. We're not sitting on top of it, but I don't think they can get out. Um, he could turn around and attack this guy just for... Just for fun. All right. Blow him out of here. We lost one tank in that... Two tanks in that adventure. But that's fine. This all looks good. I think that we now have them isolated. Uh, we wouldn't be able to see it now until the turn resolves. Um, we can only see our units that are far from the railhead. But now we got to move our headquarters up. I don't think I have anything else to move when it comes to the panzers. Uh, where do we want to put these headquarters units? We'll just move them up a little bit. That's fine. Yeah, one more. You know I like to sit on railway even if we don't control it. That's just that's just how I roll. Um, get him over here. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Undo that. I didn't want to move that infantry unit. Uh, always make sure you're moving what you want to. Both times I've done that in this game, we've gotten lucky that we didn't move next to a Soviet unit so we could take it back. Now, how far out are these guys? 14 of 15. This guy's 15 of 15. Okay. Now, though, we've got also down here, still part of 2nd Panzer, we've got this group so we can't let Guderian get too far away. When you see who he's commanding, he's got a whole infantry group 
which maybe we'd be better off putting in fourth army, but I don't really want to do that because Guderian's got, obviously got incredible scores everywhere. Um, even, even for infantry, he's got a seven. So it's not as if, you know, him commanding infantry troops is somehow bad. Uh, I also think if we moved him over to fourth, fourth is way oversubscribed. So <laughs> that's right, Stanley. Uh, I, I'm on a, <laughs> I'm on a much tighter deadline than the Germans actually were. I've got, I've got to get this done by tomorrow so I can prepare for war in the East too. Uh, yeah. Vilecki Lukey, you know that they've got good vodka in Vilecki Lukey, Stanley. Um, if, if there is such a thing as good vodka. Okay, so this headquarters, so we've still got things in 2nd Panzer. They're just down here. We brought them south. In retrospect, I maybe wish I would have kept them up here, although it's not really hurt us at all. Uh, we have been able to kind of do whatever the heck we want up here. Uh, so it hasn't hurt us, and now we can threaten an envelopment maybe of Smolensk and cause them to drop back here uh, so we don't have to fight all of these units to get across the Dnieper, the smaller part of the Dnieper up here. Um, all right, well, I just want to make sure nothing gets out of command, but we're going to be bringing these infantry units north as well. So we've already moved 4th Army. Why don't we actually really go down here and just take care of these units and see what we're going to do. We'll start from south to north. Uh, I'm going to kind of abandon these units. I'm not even going to attack them. I'm just going to go around them and start to pressure up this way uh, because second army is on the way. We've got the reinforcements are right back here. We have these units. We have a unit here that can clean up this stuff. We have more on the way. So all of second army will take over this front and we're going to get these um, second panzer group units up this way. But do I bring them up here and kind of try to go here or do I really just bring them all the way up here and then they can hit into here next time? I think I'm going to bring him right there and kind of pressure to the south. Now, I don't want this headquarters to get too far away from Guderian. I want to make sure that stays in command. See, but we can just run free up here. That's the... Run free. Uh, okay, that's you two guys don't want to hear me sing. Well, if you do, make sure and leave a comment that I do more singing. But I, I don't think anybody here wants that. Uh, wow, he can get all the way up here and attack. Now, I like that. It's gonna leap. It's gonna put this headquarters in a strange situation. I think I'm gonna bring him all the way up here. I was kind of worried about this armored unit, so let's bring that up there. Let's take the headquarters and move it across the river. Now he even gets in even closer to Guderian. Although, um, hmm, 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 hmm. Interesting. Well, I wanted to move Guderian up. I guess that's fine. That's fine, right? Yeah, I can move him up because, I mean, he's not really moving that much further away from him. Uh, that's good. Okay, we'll do it just like that. So he's a little closer uh, to here. The guys are not outrunning him too much. This is a good defensible position. They're not going to counter. Well, they may counterattack here, but I don't think they're going to get through two full Soviet or uh, German divisions. We have other German divisions here. We actually have this unit that still has some movement points. Um, I kind of seem to have forgotten this one. Where do we, I think I want him to go all the way up here. Why not? He's with this headquarters. Hey, that's great. Shit, they really are linking up now. Let's put, let's move him all the way up here. Uh, interesting. Sorry, I guess I just didn't recognize. All right, we'll do a hasty attack there. Try to knock this guy back. Oh, didn't even get one-to-one. -one. That's odd. I would have thought we would have done much better than that. <clears throat> but okay, that's fine. All right, so now you see the game plan, right? We've got 4th Army moving up here. Ninth Army can come straight east for the most part. They're going to have to build a fence here to make sure the Soviets can't counterattack from the north. But now you see uh, Operation Rolling Thunder 
ready to ready to move out, gentlemen. Um, this all looks pretty good. Let's move him up one more. Eh, let's actually let's put him on right on top of the armor, so this this guy doesn't get any ideas. Okay, these are our two recon air bases. We'll move them up. Maybe stack them with this headquarters here, right? That's sitting right in the middle. Hey, let's hit the space bar. How how do you guys like that? Uh, I like the way that's all shaping up. Uh, this all looks good. We've got these security units. I'm kind of holding one of them for Smolensk, and then I have a, uh, another one. I guess I could send that one south to Gomel, maybe? Uh, we've got Viteps covered. We're going to probably need something for Rejev, Biasma. Uh, we've got a bigger one here, this 4 of 50, that's perfect for Smolensk, this guy. Um, so we'll put him in there. We've moved our railroad unit. Oh, 9th Army Headquarters, let's move him up. We'll move him up to uh, Vitebsk, I guess. Uh, recon. Let's move the recon aircraft. Keep them moving along with uh, Third Panzer. And we'll just double stack the two recon air bases. That's fine. Uh, this is overall for Third Panzer Hoth. He's, you know, the railhead's almost caught up with Hoth. He could even move forward a little further. Put him there. All right. I think that's all starting to shape up very nicely. Uh, Ninth Army Headquarters, Fourth Army Headquarters under Von Klug. Uh, okay, we've got our air bases here, kind of where we want them. I think I will send this south. Um. Uh, well, heck, I could maybe even try to just knock this unit back with the security unit. Probably not, but we could try. Nope. Uh, we had four men, 12 men that got injured in that ill-fated attack. That's all right. Uh, I'll wait and just use this unit to blow that out. Okay, we've got all this. This all looks good. This all looks fine. Uh, we've got army, or this is the Luflot. What do we have in Minsk? We've got Army Group Center, okay. Second Army Headquarters, Bon Weeks, that's fine. All right, just uh, dot my I's, crossing my T's. Um, now, are these guys actually still in command? Yeah, he's five of five. They're not gonna get much supply out here. I actually wish I could kind of move them. Let's move him forward one more. What's underneath there? Oh, another headquarters. Okay, now we've got the rest of 2nd Panzer here. Um, can we attack there? Well, we can. Is it advised? Probably not. Let's do it. Uh, we have moved the headquarters, so it's not going to matter uh, for supply unit for purpose. Okay, well, that's not good. 205 to 1691. Uh, we still won the battle. Well, won the battle. I mean, we caused more death and destruction than the other side. Let's put it that way. Uh, but that's fine. I just wanted to see what their real strength was. Uh, we've got 18 movement points there. We've got 18 here. Now we could move these guys all the way up here. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I don't know that we're going to be able to exploit this gap here. And I think I may leave forth all on their own devices. Uh, Can he get through here? He cannot. Can, yeah, well, he's got a lot of movement points. Look at that. He could get in actually into the soft area here. I wish I could attack there. If this unit was gone, we would just drive a Mack truck through here. Uh, he's got 46 movement points. Wow. Uh, I'm actually going to put this unit on refit as well. Um, hmm. I mean, I don't really care about this rail line that much. There's not... Oh, we already went across it. Doesn't matter. They can't get through there anyway. So this is not really that important of a move. What I'm afraid of is getting these motorized units stuck back here where we can't get them out. Uh, they don't have enough fuel. They're moving like a few hexes a turn. The Soviets turn to face them with all of these forces. 
That's what I'm concerned about. I think we go with, uh, what is it, square pumped, where we, uh, you know, have all... Look how far up here this unit can get. That's crazy. I guess we could have used this unit to... <laughs> look at that. He can go take the rail line. Holy smokes. Um... Well, we're going to have to leave the SS unit behind, I think. And sure, let's go for it. Let's get all the way up here. Uh, let's just, uh, let's reverse second Panzer out and have them join on. And now, I mean, look at everything we have coming towards Moscow. I'm not exactly sure how the AI is going to deal with this because we've just got them in a, uh, what, what do the old folks say? A pickle. We've got them in a pickle. Um... All right, so this is the only unit left. We're just going to have to leave him behind, and I'm actually going to bring this unit all the way up here and make absolutely sure this thing is airtight. Who would have ever guessed that that's the Panzer Division that would close that envelopment? Pretty crazy. All right, so we'll come bring uh, von Weitengolf up here. That's a good German name if I've ever heard one. I didn't want to move both of you. Stop that. Stop doing that. Uh, not you, Von Schweppenberg. That's another good German, old Prussian name, right? The Vons are all, that's Prussian. Don't think I'll like a comment, Stanley. What? I don't know what you're talking about, Stanley, but I could say that all the time. No, I'm just joking with you. Uh, uh, Florian, yes, I did have a pink headquarters unit near an enemy unit. I, I, I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, Hans, I'm glad you're looking forward to the West, War in the West tutorial. So am I. It's fun. It's fun to get back into that game. Very underrated game. So we were talking earlier, what are my favorite strategy games? Um, well, you know, I said it's a uh, war in the Pacific, but the game that has a very special place in my heart that I would have to say just for nostalgia reasons would be my favorite game of all time is the old Amiga 500 game empire. And I don't know if you guys ever played that, but I've probably put more hours into that game than any other game by a factor of 10. Now, the way that used to be, there was a procedurally generated world map, and you had little cities on islands, or the map could be more land-based or more island-based, uh, but your cities would produce either infantry, armor, planes, or ships. And there were like two different, I think there were either transport ships or like fighting ships, and then there were either like uh, motorized or tanks, and then your infantry maybe had a couple of different flavors, but... Uh, you know, your cities would then produce those units and whatnot. And to this day, I wish there was a game that was kind of exactly like that, uh, just with better graphics. Now, if you ever look, you can still get Empire Deluxe, and it'll work with Windows 10. Um, and so check it out. It, it's, it's a heck of a lot of fun. But I'm dating myself there. That does go back to the Amiga 500, uh, which the day I got that thing, whoo, this was one happy... <laughs> One happy dojo. Uh, yeah, that was good times. I had the Commodore 64 upgraded to the Amiga 500, and it was game on, literally. Um, all right, can we move any more of these? Now, this is airtight. Uh, this should be a good couple hundred thousand men, I would hope. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I always seem to overestimate... <clears throat> exactly. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think that's like 16 divisions caught in here. They have nowhere to go. They may try to come down here, <clears throat> but they can't get out this way. Um, 16 divisions, if we're saying about 16,000 men per division, that could be 150 to 200,000 men in what what in historically will become known as the Vilecki Luki pocket. Uh, that's good stuff there. And now we've got all of 2nd Panzer and 3rd Panzer ready for the final drive. Uh, they also should get more fuel this time as our railheads are catching up. So this all worked pretty dang well. Um, 
All right, these infantry units, if I had to do this over again, I'd take these two and reverse them out to here, uh, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll recover. Your infantry, your second Panzer infantry, you know, it's not going to make or break you. Um, he's got 28 of 24 von Klug in the 4th Army. I'm tempted to just put him in the 4th Army, but I've already got too much in there. All right, let's go down to uh, what we've got left down here, which is 2nd Army. And we will move this unit here. He can get support units uh, out of the 35th Corps. 35th Corps will go up here. I, we're not going to need uh, another fight. Well, we may around Gomel. I, sh I should back up. Maybe we will need a little bit. So let's not go crazy here. Uh, I'll give him one howitzer. Gosh, they've only wow. Second does not have a good breakdown right now. I guess I'll just leave it there because I don't need a whole lot to blow the heck out of this, uh, or to blow the heck out of this unit, I should say. So let's hit that with a hasty and see what happens. I drove him back, which is all you know you could really hope for there. Um, on the well, Stanley. Uh, whoops, whoops, let's get the microphone back down there. Uh, Stanley, yes, my singing. Uh, I'm a man of many talents. Singing is not one of them. <laughs> no, I have, uh, I like singing. Wow, I sing a lot. That doesn't mean I'm good at it. Uh, my wife can tell you that. I, she tells me, well, it's not that bad. Uh, but I, you know, I think she's being kind. Um, all right, let's... Can we hit here again? Oh, we can. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, let's really try to move that back. Then we'll just have this security unit sit here for a little bit to make sure these guys can invade. Invade. Hit our rail line. Um, so I'll move the security. Can I move it? No, I can't get across that river. Huh. Okay. It is what it is. Now let's move this headquarters, though, up so that we get some support units down here. Now we're... Uh, do we want to go that far? We will, but then I'll move him back and stack here. And I also, we got to watch out these guys don't shoot this gap. I don't think they will, and we've got a lot of, you know, reinforcements coming. We've got two full divisions that will cross the river next turn. So even if they move forward a little bit, I'm not too worried about it. But let's double stack here and attack into Gomel. Let's give this unit all we can get. Uh, howitzer, that always helps. Artillery helps, my friends. Uh, there we go. Mixed flak. Yeah, they don't have a real nice mix here. I'm, I'm going to go back and put this Stug and Panzer, uh, Panzerjäger into a, directly into a Panzer division. So I'm going to leave those there for now. Let's do a deliberate attack here and try to blow them out of Gomel. And then hopefully I have enough movement points with one of these units to move into the city if I do blow them out. Yeah, that, that should do it. Seven to one. All right, uh, that'll make it a little tough, but we may not even go across the river here. We may leave a security unit here and move on. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how that plays out. So. Uh, the one unit can move into the city. The other unit can come back here and kind of protect through. Uh, let's move him back one more. Just to kind of protect from that movement I was talking about uh, where they try to shoot this gap. I don't think they would, but let's just make sure. Um, you know what? I think he's fine. He's fine there. Uh, that all looks good. I don't think we can do anything else here. This is the recon. Oh. There, okay, there's the railroad unit, right. So we are going to have to clean this up before railroad comes through. Uh, here's the recon. Let's move the recon, like, up here. Uh, it's safe behind 4th Army. Um, so now we have, well, actually I want him to be a little further south so we can start to recon this area. But we'll get to that. For now, that's fine. He can be there. Uh, the whole overall headquarters can move across the river. That looks good. Uh, this headquarters, okay, they're on the way, they're coming. 
Uh, I'll put him in command. What is he, 18 of 15 now? Yeah, I'll just move him forward. That doesn't hurt anything. 14 of 15. It doesn't do anything for us. We're sitting right on the railhead, but that's all right. Uh, that's OCD, my friends. Can he do another hasty? No, no, he can't. I was hoping he could, but uh, no such luck. No such luck. Uh, all right, now what do we want to do? Now what do we want to do? All right, I think we've taken care of everything pretty much. We can start moving this security unit up towards... Um, We've got a gap of a couple here. Let's just put the security unit there. He's ultimately going to uh, Smolensk anyway, so that's fine. Wow, I like the look at all of all that. Let's back up and just look at what the front looks like. So in the north, almost to Leningrad. In the center, we've now created a massive pocket potentially up to 200,000 men. It looks like we've got a bunch of weak units here. We've cut that rail line. They can't get out. Uh, we've got a lot of soft. You can see air bases here. They also have these little, uh, these are anti-tank, I believe, uh, but they're small. They're like one defense, two defense. We just got to hit them with infantry. They've got some cavalry. Cavalry here. We know what's along here. I mean, we've got detection on all this now. A two, a one, a five, a six. I mean, these are not strong units. And you can see they don't have a lot behind it because their secondary units are right here. I mean, unless they're, they're just hiding an entire core here or something, but I don't think they are. We ran a lot of recon. Uh, the road looks wide open and we've got two complete Panzer Corps with a full complement on full refit and should be almost fully refueled for next turn. That looks good. Fourth Army's moving along. Looks like they're going to just give us Smolensk. That's excellent. We've taken Gomel. We're pushing into their secondary forces here in the middle with nothing but infantry. Uh, we will need to get our SS unit reversed out of here. Give it a turn to fuel up again and get out of there. That was that uh, just amazing unit that you know went all the way behind enemy lines. Uh, that was crazy. I think we moved all of this stuff back here. We've got secondary rail. Oh, we have this security unit. What are we doing with this security unit? Why is this just sitting back here? It's a great question. Um, he's only got 2,100 men, but he can take a small town. Oh, I guess we're moving him up. Oh, this is the one that was at Brest. Okay, sorry. Yeah, we're moving this unit up to take Viasma or uh, something up there near Moscow, so we'll hurry that along. We have this security unit just kind of cleaning out stuff out here in the swamp uh, as we start to move into the south. And 6th Army, we will be advancing on Kiev this time. Uh, we're gonna look and see what to do in this situation. This is, this is kind of the most interesting quandary we have left. What do we do with 1st Panzer Group out here? Uh, I think I'm going to have them link up with the 11th Army, and we'll have 1st Panzer Group, 11th Army, start to make their move, right? We've got to get across the river somewhere. Now, where is that going to be? Uh, it, I thought maybe Cherkasy, but we're just going to have to attack that with infantry. It's got a 27 defense. It, it takes a full turn to get across the river out here. Uh, it's just, you know, it's... It's a wide river, big river, the Dnieper moving up here near Cherkasy. So we're just going to have to uh, keep moving southeast and look for a weak spot. Then we'll jump the river and we got to bust ass to Salino uh, and mess with their production there. So the south is still our lagging just like it was historically, it's still our lagging front. I do think that we could potentially get a double envelopment where we re-envelop these troops and then envelop the troops that came to save them. Uh, but that will all be for next time, uh, which will just be later today. So you don't have long to wait. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it again. We got to keep going. So I will put up another episode later. Who knows? I might even do two more. I, I'm really into this game. I want to keep playing. Unfortunately, uh, my job does not pay me to play these games. Not yet. Not until I get another uh, 200,000 subs. So, 
Uh, anyway, I will be back in a few hours, probably three o'clock Pacific Coast time. So that would be in two hours, two hours. And we will play another episode of War in the East uh, later on tonight. War in the West tutorial part one will go up. So thank you guys so much. Uh, the viewership just keeps growing and growing for these. Uh, so hopefully you're enjoying them. Maybe you're even learning something along the way. I know I learn stuff from you guys all the time. Uh, so thank you for that. Thanks for all the comments. Thanks for all the support. This is Strategy Gaming Dojo. 